All right, well, the last speaker said that she thought she had uh, some hard acts to follow. Well, I reckon that was a pretty hard act to follow. And when you come this late in a, in a meeting like this, you feel very much like the Hungarian MP who stood up in the Diet in Budapest during the course of a very, very, very long debate, and he was later on in it. And he said, uh, everything has been said, but not everybody has said it yet. So that's the sort of position I'm in now. And I, what I want to do is I want to uh, add my um, support and my um, hear hears really to everything that's been said and very especially to the points that have been made about the great importance of the principle that there should be one law applicable to everybody in a dispensation and that everybody should be equal before that law and should have access to its protections. It's a tremendously important principle. David Pollock pointed out how long it took to get that central pillar of our civil liberties accepted in this country as a principle and how very recently indeed, really just a century and a half since some of the sections of our community were able to go to courts that dealt with them differently from the way that the rest of the law of the land dealt with people and gave them privileges as a result. It took centuries and centuries to get our civil liberties. Many people fought hard for them. People died for them. The right to have a vote, the right to speak freely, uh, the right to make important choices for ourselves in life, and the protection of a, a system of laws that help us keep living within a framework of rights that belong to us inalienably. That was something that once, four or five hundred years ago, only aristocrats of the very rich and priests had, and the rest of the population didn't have them. It was an immense battle to get them. And if we betray them, all those people who fought very hard for these things, we will have done their memory wrong. Much worse, however, we would have betrayed all those people among our contemporaries in our own country and in human society generally who were treated in a discriminatory fashion by the difference in the legal protections that they get in a society. So the idea of one law for all is so central to the idea of our civil liberties and to the good society. And it is such an important matter to fight for it in order to protect our fellow citizens who are uh, finding themselves in situations where that right, that protection has been removed from them de facto. It's the beginning today, I think, of uh, a larger awareness in, in our society about the significance of these matters. And I hope we're going to see many more such rallies. And I hope also that the message that these rallies send will be heard at last by our masters in Westminster. Thanks very much.